Now in this question then we're given that f of x equals x cubed minus 7 over x plus 2 and for part a we're asked to show that if f of x equals 0 then there's a root in the interval between 1.4 and 1.5. So to do this what we need to do is look for a change in sign as we move across this interval and that would indicate that the graph, if we were to draw the graph of f of x, if this was the x-axis and this was the y-axis, if y was to equal f of x, that the graph would cross somewhere between 1.4 and 1.5. There'd be a change in sign, whether it goes from positive to negative or negative to positive. So all we need to do then is just work out, first of all, what f of 1.4 is and what f of 1.5 comes to. So if you substitute 1.4 in for x, you should find that you get minus 0.256 exactly. And if you substitute 1.5 in to as, as x into here, f of 1.5 turns out to be 0 0.7083 recurring. So you can see the graph's going from negative to positive, coming up from here and then going up through to a positive value like that. Okay, so what we need to do is say something like, since the change in sign, there must be a root. So let's just mark that in there. Since the change in sign, there must be a root. Be a root. Okay. In the interval, we'll just mark that in 1.4 to 1.5. The curve is also continuous over that interval. We must stress that because, if, you know, there might have been a break. There would be a break in this, a discontinuity when x is zero, but clearly over this interval here, there are no breaks. So since the change of sign, there must be a root in that as the curve is continuous. Let's just put that in. All right, so hope that gives you the idea then how I would go anywhere about uh, answering that particular type of question.